Hey. This weekend, um, the uh, Scholar Progenium Challenge is going to run here in my game room, this room. Um, so Johnny and JD are coming over and I've invited uh, some of the players over from my club. Many of them are also members of the Danish national team. We're going to play uh, at least three games Saturday and one game Sunday. I'm going to try and record as many of the games as I can. But I just wanted to show you guys because the, the concept of this weekend is um, that Johnny and JD came over to learn and to get as much like feedback as possible and at the same time they wanted to play against something that was really hard and competitive so i've built and this is one of the lists i'm going to use it's not the only one but um each of the guys are going to play a game against me and and i wanted to show them how much you can do once you have a good player and a very strong list so this is what i'm going to do i've I've built a list that is, I think, as strong as I can make it, um, and it's it's built for the the British GT. So like, it's 1,100 points single generic platoon. I've built that potentially as strong. There are a, a couple of variations that I could do, but I think I've built it as strong as I can. And it it sort of, if you go back and watch my videos from way back about the um, WTC, for instance, with Russell you'll see that a lot of the ideas that was used at the WTC are still being applied to British lists. So the meta has not shifted uh, mass massively, at least not for me. Although there are a couple of things that I'm doing that, you know, are typically bow, I guess. Um, so let me just show you what it is that I'm, I'm using for this weekend's um, like final games, the boss fight. Um, so this is my list. It's 1100 points, 16 order dice to the dot. I'm bringing an inexperienced lieutenant. He is going to sit in one of my transports, I guess. Um, and then I have Gurkha sections. One of the Gurkha sections had a couple of points left over, so I pulled a submachine gun. But these are eight man sections, and I have four of those. Um, free forward artillery observer, of course. Um, a single unit of Royal Engineers, regulars, saving the points. I've just bought them bare bones with a flamethrower. Five men, regulars. I'll show you where they go in a minute. Up and Adam, because that works really well with my Gurkhas. I'm really used to working that. I, I know how to do it. A medium mortar, because sometimes you just have to dig out that one howitzer, right? Um, so that's what that is there for. Flamethrower team because it's really nice to have an extra threat. So double flamethrowers is really nice to be able to throw against. I, I don't use a lot of anti-tank weapons, so um, yeah, an extra flamethrower. But I did find the points for a Piat team as well. These are both regular. Then I bought three early war motorcycles with LMGs. These are going to my, be my pin machines, um, deliver quite a lot of pins so that my charges with the Gurkhas can move up. A Jeep, which is for the flamethrower, inexperienced, and you know, my officer can go in that if I want to outflank and give my, myself a little bit of a better chance at that. And an LVT Buffalo with all the machine guns and the light autocannon. Yes, I know this is not considered competitive, but I can make it work. Um, it's, it's an extra darker steward. In a single platoon, uh, That this extra darker steward with three machine guns and a light autocannon that can split fire all of it, it's just, it works really well for me because um, that's a four-way split fire on a transport vehicle. Um, the only thing is I'm going to need to have a lot of guys sitting in it so that can either be the small teams, the Piet and the flamethrower team, or it can be the, the regular engineers, which I think is more likely. So most of the time, I think the engineers will go in this and potentially the peer team as well, so that the flamer team can have their own Jeep. And a darker steward. 16 order dice, which I think is good as well. I did consider running five Gurkhas, but uh, the few times I've done that, I haven't really used all my Gurkhas anyway. So I'm, I'm going to try this one out. Um, and, and you'll see the, the Canadian engineer, this, this using a Canadian engineer with Gurkhas 
It's very, very common at the WTC right now. It's the most meta it can be. The only thing that are like, I think are specifically bow-ish is the use of the early war motorcycles and the LVT. So that is my list for the weekend. Wish me luck and to Johnny and JD as well. Right, cheers.